Uh-huh. So that's Kohler William, Grandma. Newborn baby Kohler, meet your great grandma, Marguerite Kohler. She knows a thing or two about kids. I think we'll leave him with you. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Huh? You yeah. know what you're doing. In the Kohler clan, great grandma has quite the legacy. 11 children, 56 grandchildren, and then 100 great grandchildren. <laughs> One ginormous family, all started by a woman who grew up as an only child. She was married to my grandfather right before World War II in 1942, um, and they were happily married for 66 years. Baby Kohler named to honor his Grandma Kohler and Grandpa William. And it felt very natural to name him Kohler and William as the middle name, and then we can always call him Cole if we like. And his place as the hundredth grandchild extra special because another hundred milestone is coming up. So you're going to be a hundred years old soon and the 100th great grandchild. So with a hundred great grandchildren, 56 grandchildren and 11 children, it's safe to say hosting Thanksgiving isn't just an event. It's a village gathering. And we just come in different heats (laughs) and make our presents and, you know, spend some time together and then we disperse so that everyone can kind of get together at these critical points throughout the year. Adding all four generations up, that's 168 Kohler family members. For the newest member, that's going to be a lot of names to learn. My grandmother's name is Marguerite. She named my mother Marguerite, who named my oldest sister Marguerite. And then my brother's second daughter is Marguerite as well. But for the OG Marguerite... Does he make you happy? Oh my God, yeah. I'm just thinking how lucky I am. (laughs) That feeling of happiness from holding every great grandkid never gets old. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News.